Okay, so that was technically clickbait. The Range Rover did move to a new home, it's just I moved with it. Let's be honest, that thing's not going anywhere anytime soon. But more importantly, that opens the channel up to dozens of new opportunities that I've been anticipating now for months, a year, two years. So I thought now would be the perfect time to go ahead and have a chance to sit down and talk to the camera and explain some of the things that are going on. So with that, welcome to Florida and let's go. video is pretty much off topic for this channel. There's really nothing too informative about a specific car in this video, but we'll get to a lot of the details here in a bit. So back in the day, in like 2008, when I first started uploading YouTube videos, us techie YouTubers would upload update videos. And I suppose that's essentially what this is. With Breakdown Automotive, there are just a few things that I want to address and really open up about regarding the channel. First things first, the channel has grown tremendously over the last few months and it's opened us up to so many new opportunities that really without the automotive channel never would have existed before. And I'm beyond incredibly grateful for that because I always wanted this to be more than just another car review channel. There's hundreds of those out there and they're all basically doing and saying the same thing because except for a few exceptions, but for the most part, they're all really doing and saying the same stuff. Doing car reviews last summer was so off topic for what I wanted this channel to actually be about that I think that lasted for an entire six weeks or so. I want this channel to go more in depth with cars. That's what I'm passionate about and that's what means most to me to share. There's so much more to a car than what it's like exactly right after it comes off a production line. In my opinion, that's when a car should be near perfect. But really, a car story only begins after that process. The way I see it, a car is more than just a piece of transport. They're meant to be enjoyed and it doesn't matter if it's a Kia Soul or a Rolls Royce Ghost, there's something special about every car. That's what I want to show people and share with an audience, not its quality right after it comes off the production line. I want to show what it's like to live with, what's it cost to own, what it's like on a daily basis, and really what it's like owning these cars after they've come off the production line. That's the reason why I continue to make videos with a Range Rover that's now eight years old. They're a fun and interesting and almost quirky type of car. They're very unique and there's something special about them and that's what I want to share. People are passionate about Range Rovers. Whether they love them or hate them, there's passion there. And because of that, I didn't want to get into the trap of buying a car doing four videos with it and then never showing it to the channel again. I want to experience the cars and I want to share that experience with the people on this channel. And with that as well, we have something very special coming to the channel late this year. And it's not something that I really feel too comfortable releasing all of the details about yet because a lot of things still need to line up before that can happen. But I can promise this much, it is a car that many people have been interested in for years. And while some channels have tried doing videos with it, there's not been anyone showing what it's actually like to live with. And that's something I'm extremely excited to share later on. It's really surprised me that nobody has dived into this car as popular as it's become in the last few years as it gets more affordable. I've always been surprised that nobody's really gone in depth with what this car is like to own. So I'm really excited to have the chance to do that. And in the meantime, it's almost time to start searching for the replacement for the Infinity. And for that, I think it would be awesome for Nick to do an entire series about searching for the car, going to look at the cars, finding the right car, negotiating on it, and then what it's like to live with thereafter. It's a process that not too many people are open to showing, but I think it would add a new perspective to things and actually make the entire series really fun. And better yet, we're bringing back the challenges and races. They got a little stale in Tennessee, and I'll be the first to admit that. There wasn't too much going on in the areas around us, and because of that, there really was only so much we could do. There was only so many times you could race to the lake, which was really the only thing in our area. But in Daytona Beach, we're an hour away from Orlando. We're 
on the beach pretty much where we live. And what's even greater about that is we have services like Uber and Lyft to where we can do a race between the Range Rover and an Uber, or we can do a race between a bike and Uber, a race between the Range Rover and a bike, or walking to the beach versus driving to the beach, which one's quicker. Because we're so close to the beach here and we're so close to everything up in Daytona Beach itself, it's really going to be fun to be able to share these races, challenges, experiences together. And more importantly than that, we have things here like a Land Rover Defender sitting at Congo River, miniature golf. That is beautiful. There's also car shows every single week in Miami, Orlando, Jacksonville. They're everywhere, and there's even a ton going on here. In fact, where we just went for lunch today, they were having a car show right next to where we were eating. And that's the thing about moving here that I was most excited for. There's car experiences going on everywhere around us, and I think it's going to open up some great opportunities for the channel itself. Needless to say, I have been waiting for the moment to move here, move the channel here, and move the Range Rover here for a very, very long time. Ideas have been flowing through my head for the past year now, and I'm finally ready to introduce some of these new ideas that I have to the channel and see where it takes us. We can finally make the races and challenges interactive, fun for viewers, and really exciting to watch, and that's something that I have been waiting for for a very long time. And most importantly, the Range Rover and videos on the L322 Range Rover are not going anywhere except to Land Rover Orlando for some service. I have tons of ideas for fresh Land Rover content that I've not been able to share yet and that's one of the things I am most excited for. I love doing videos about the Range Rover. It's what I'm most passionate about so I'm excited to be able to share more about it down here. And there are some more in-depth aspects to this channel and community that I want to introduce. The channel has grown quite a bit in the past few months and even with only 3,000 subscribers and 100,000 views a month, my inbox has absolutely blown up which I love. My favorite part about this is getting to interact with the community community, receive messages, get to reply to these messages, share stories, and be able to interact with other people about their experience with their cars. What means most to me is being able to meet new people, listen to their experiences, share experiences with cars, as well as become more than just another faceless channel. Life is all about experiences and I want to be involved in those experiences and be able to share those experiences with other people. I want to be able to organize smaller Land Rover meetups, whether it's in Daytona Beach or Jacksonville, Orlando, Miami, wherever it may be, I want to be able to introduce that to the community and be able to have a Land Rover week or a Land Rover day. I mean, let's be honest, Daytona Beach has Jeep week or Jeep invasion as well as a blue of folk. Daytona Beach has Jeep Week, Bike Week, Hooker Week, and with that, why not have a Land Rover Week? One of my favorite parts about this city is how prevalent Land Rovers are here, as well as in nearby cities like Orlando. I think as a community, we can build on that and create something that's more than just another car channel. I want this to be more than just another car review channel. I want it to be more than just another car channel and just another car vlogger. I want to share experiences and really show what cars are all about. So that's that. That is where the automotive Automotive channel is heading and unfortunately that barely scratched the surface of everything we have planned. If I were to talk about everything I would be sitting here for four hours. But more important than anything, thank you. Thank you for being part of this community. For the views, the likes, the subscribes, all of the emails, all of the messages, the dislikes, every single part of it over the past year has meant the world to me and I'm excited to be able to grow this and share more experiences with you. I'm grateful every single day that this channel is here and I'm grateful for all of the people I've been able to meet and talk to with it. So with that, thank you all for all of the support and everything over the past year, and I can't wait to share more with you guys, and I will see you in the next video.